I have not despite his purpose. I will propose a toast to him. But you fired him, you said. Correct, and I will appoint you as our ambassador to Great Britain. <laughs> <laughs> my vice president or the ambassador to Great Britain? One at a time. Let me explain. Vice presidents are the easiest people to fire. No announcements. It just happens. Tonight, I will toast him at the Hill House dinner. He shall have more duties than ever. A visit to Florida, another to New Orleans, and plenty of hospital stove in New York. But he is your vice president. Uh, you are the vice president and will become president, the first from New York. I, I humbly accept. Calhoun is unqualified to be either president or vice president. What? Mr. Calhoun is not an American. Well, he, he is a South Carolinian, first and foremost. Then, dot, 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 then, then, only then is he an American. Well, I suppose you're right. I spent the first 17 years of my life as a South Carolinian, then a Tennessean. And I am proud to say that. But I am the I am first and foremost an American. America trumps all. Well, you are. My mother, my father, two brothers all died fighting for the Union. <clears throat> I almost died fighting for the Union many times, and I n never want to hear a word about the breaking up of the Union. And that bastard speaks of nullification. Nullification sounds like a precursor to break up. Over my dead body, or preferably his. Well, preferably his. <laughs> Look, he worries about losing his slaves and about tariffs imposed by the North. I don't intend to give up any of my slaves, but I am an American first, and the American people love you for it. Well, what would I do without you, Martin? That 